Hello everyone, this time we want to show you what we did, ate and visited in Palermo. We took the train to Palermo city center, you find it in the basement of the airport. The trip is 5 euro 90 pence for 1 hour and 20 minutes. We arrived to our cute apartment next to the central train station and recharge our batteries for the next day. The first day we went to visit the city with a local, my ex colleague Rita. We strolled around the Villa Giulia and had a nice breakfast at the bar touring. And then we headed to the cathedral which was built by the Normans. First it was a Christian basilica, later a Muslim mosque and after become a Christian church again. What caught our attention was this meridian line with signs from the zodiac. This place is Fontana Pretoria, also called the Square of Shame. Well, you can guess the reason, right? We thanked Rita and had some arancina in a place she recommended. We ended the day at the seafront. We chilled and took a shot for the gram. Today is Sunday, first Sunday of the month. We are taking advantage of visiting two sites. They are for free. We, we will do two in the morning because otherwise afterwards they will close. So see you there. It's a long way walk to the castle. It's like three kilometer. Wow. It's good to walk after breakfast, it's a good exercise. We are halfway through. Where are you taking us, darling? <laughs> the ghetto. <laughs> We arrived here to the Giza after a long way, but we made it. The Giza castle is inspired by the Moorish architecture and five years ago became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Giza name comes from the Arab term Al-Aziz, which means dear or splendid. So we just came out from uh, the Ziza castle. We expected a bit more from that, considering that normally you should pay the ticket fee as well to enter. Pretty empty inside. It looks much better from the outside. It's an Arab Norman castle. As you may know, at Sicily, we got uh, quite a lot of influence from Arabs, Normans, Greeks. It's quite a, a melting pot. 
now we are gonna be a bit chilling in the garden of the castle which is free to enter and it's always open and we were quite lucky because on our way out there's a big queue but when we went in the morning there's only two people ahead of us so. we have a nice castle behind us it's cloudy but when the sun is uncovered from the clouds it's very sunny so we have these heads they are pretty odd isn't it it is we came out from the garden of the Ziza castle so cool that you have the mountain on the back that's where we need to go it looks quite nice with the towers saint john of the hermits is another unesco site but this one instead is a church it didn't feel like we were in Italy at all. Look at the overall architecture. We found this plant. If you know what fruit is it, tell us in the comments please. Another plant that we don't know what it is. What a beautiful place with these nice trees around. We are on the way home, we saw a beautiful castle, but the second place was uh, much better for me. With a beautiful garden, a lot of plants, like uh, banana trees. We have some cookies as well. We caught three. How was the tree? Nice, but tiring. After visiting these two beautiful sites, we decided to go back to the apartment to take a little nap. In the afternoon we had lunch and after we just strolled around the city a bit more. Panino panelle croque. Mm -hmm. ah. Alright, nice. Yeah. So. I'm gonna try one of these with the spicy salami. Let's see. Tastes good and um, not too spicy. I like it. Valentina, tasting very nice, very soft, cheesy. With, with ham and uh, mozzarella. Yeah. Nothing in my mouth. Mm, delicious. So we had the lunch and now we are having a dessert. Now we're trying the cactus fruit, granita. Let's see. Mm. Tasty, very good. <laughs> Especially on the sunny day like today. Mm. Refreshing.
and we arrived in Bellini Square where we found this parade float of Saint Rosalia. She's a very famous saint here in Palermo and this float is so colorful and interesting. We are at the biggest theater of Italy and one of the largest in Europe. It's called the Teatro Massimo. Now we are going to one of uh, the most popular markets in Palermo. We are going to Mercato del Capo. It's very close by, six minutes away. Let's see if we can buy something. Maybe a good piece of fish or some fruit. We highly recommend you to visit at least one market in Palermo. There are many. We visited Mercato del Capo and it was such a great experience. Fresh mint. <laughs> David is in love with Arancina, so he got another one, isn't it? One of my favorites, yes, yes. Okay. How is it? Nice, fresh. Mm, very good. A bit of street art hunting and later we treated ourselves with a cannolo. How is it? Super nice. The coffee is very fresh. How is it? Nice. The fried is crispy. Mm. And the restaurant is just for us, at the moment. We just arrived for the opening time. On the way to the port, we stopped at the biggest ficus tree in Europe. And then we headed over to the old port, La Cala. It was the main fishing port in Palermo until the 16th century. We walk along this charming horse-shaped port, where we could enjoy the last moment of our visit in Palermo. It 
If you are still here, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, do this, do that. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.